Ever wondered what goes on behind the cameras on Doctor Who? Then you've come to the right place. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 behind the scenes moments from Doctor Who Series 11. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most entertaining and informative moments that took place during the filming of the 11th series of Doctor Who. Number 10, The Doctor Faces the Music. For Series 11, 2017's BAFTA breakthrough Brit Sagan Akinola was brought in as composer of the Doctor Who score. My role is to aid the storytelling through music and to work with Chris and Matt and to figure out what the sound is. In a BBC video, Akinola described how he uses music to aid the storytelling and discussed the inspirations for his version of the show's iconic theme. I can talk to you about how Rag and Bone Man and Adele and other artists in the popular world have really influenced the score. Appearing on The Graham Norton Show, meanwhile, Jodie Whittaker got a chance to perform the tune on a theremin, an electronic instrument that produces sounds based on the positions of the player's hands. And her rendition is every bit as eerie as the original. Number 9, Fun at the BAFTAs In May 2018, Jodie Whittaker and Bradley Walsh attended the BAFTAs to present the award for Best Drama Series. But the real fun took place before the event. Can I have a deep, uh, can I have a deep pan margarita? Oh, what do you want? Stuff crust. First, Bradley used a mock-up of the TARDIS to phone for a pizza, then Jodie jokingly responded to her co-star appearing to snub her on the red carpet. Spoke to your uh, co-star Bradley Walsh. Can't oh, is he already here? Keep working with Bradley him. Bradley didn't wait for me then, did he? <laughs> All right, thanks Brad. It's going to be amazing to see yeah. you both up there and uh, good luck. When the pair did finally meet up, they shared this entertaining moment backstage with Bradley's fans on Instagram. No wonder the two have such good chemistry on screen. We're going to present an award at the BAFTAs. And we're BAFTAs. 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 Number 8, The Sonic Screwdriver. The screwdriver is one of Doctor Who's most essential pieces of kit, and its construction in the first episode was one of the highlights of the show's opener. Right, this is going to be fun. But since the team were hot on the trail of Sim Shah at the time, or should we say Tim Shaw, viewers didn't get much of a chance to dwell on Jodie's creation. Fortunately, the BBC released a video about the screwdriver's production, focusing on elements you may not have picked up from the episode. It's very different to previous in incarnations of a Sonic, because we wanted to feel like it was forged. Now we can all build our own, right? This has saved us so far many a time. Ooh. Should be fine. Number 7. Surprise There's nothing new in the Doctor surprising his or her fans, as when Peter Capaldi once made his unscheduled appearance at the Doctor Who experience, for example. Well, thank goodness you're all here. And thank goodness this is bigger on the inside. Did you see Doctor Who? Yeah! So don't mind. Thank you very much. But Jodie dialed up the shock factor when she sprang a surprise on school children watching a preview of Series 11 in Sheffield. <laughs> no wonder she's won over a new generation of fans to the show. Who knows, she could be sneaking up behind you even now as you watch this video. Okay, who looked? Watch Doctor Who! It's amazing! Yeah! Yeah! Number 6. Dancing to the Doctor's Tune What are the skills you need to be an actor on Doctor Who? If you said dancing, you may be onto something, at least according to Jodie Whittaker. So to work on Doctor Who, you have to have pretty good rhythm. You need to know the latest moves. Yeah, we have the floss stuff. at the minute, which Jodie yeah. absolutely hates. Whilst Jody showed grudging admiration for Tosin Cole's dancing skills, Tosin was less complimentary when it came to his co-star's hoofing. Jody can't dance. He's <laughs> <laughs> but judging by the evidence, he may be right. 
Look out for the cast of the next series of Strictly Maybe? They'll have to do a lot to live up to Stacey Dooley's Doctor Who themed dance in 2018's competition. Number 5 Getting Into Comic Con in 2018, members of the new Doctor Who cast appeared with Chris Chibnall at Comic-Con in San Diego. And Jodie Whittaker in particular took an unorthodox route to get there. If any convention goers weren't able to see the Doctor in the flesh, there was still this impressive Lego statue to admire, built from nearly 20,000 bricks. But there was one cast member who couldn't travel to the US, and that was Bradley Walsh, who took advantage of Jodie's absence by breaking into her trailer in Cardiff. <laughs> Number 4 Whittaker The Remix Following her selection as the 13th Doctor, Jodie Whittaker gave some entertaining interviews in which she revealed, among other things, that she cried when she learned she got the role. Tears of joy, we assume. When I was when I was told, um, there was no like, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Like, nah. <laughs> Are you kidding? But her most memorable interview came courtesy of the Access All Areas team, who edited Jodie's quickfire answers in unusual fashion. Cheddar or Stilton? Cheddar, 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 cheddar. I've once been mistaken for Emily Mortimer. What's your favourite motorway? M1. It's number one. Fact. Ooh. Ever wanted to know what Jodie's favourite motorway is? No, neither have we. But at least the doctor seemed to be enjoying herself. Never has the northern accent sounded so good. North or south? Towards. I'm going to say... Now. <laughs> number three, answering the haters. Whether you're a Doctor Who fan or not, you probably noticed there was a wee bit of a reaction regarding a woman being cast as the 13th Doctor. Good, you've sold out to the PC squad, and I'm female. <laughs> My son just pretend fainted with excitement. But an immortal, time traveling, regenerating alien played by a woman, it just isn't realistic. In this hilarious video from Stylist Magazine, Jodie was invited to read some of the reactions to her appointment, including dodgy allegations that the show was pushing a politically correct agenda. Lots of folks who never cared about Doctor Who before are suddenly very concerned. Maybe we should announce that climate change is a woman. Fair point. Regardless of where you stand on this, there's no disputing the logic, good grace and humour with which Jodie responded to her skeptics. This Doctor has class. He said ruined. <laughs> I hope we, we hang out sometime. Number two, who ate all the props? If there's one complaint the Doctor Who cast had about the on-set catering, it's apparently that the food was too good. Tosin, you know, he treats his body like a, a Greek temple, and uh, I treat mine like a Greek restaurant. During a long day's filming, of course, there will always be times when the actors get peckish. Fortunately, Bradley Walsh found a novel solution while shooting the first episode of series 11. If he thought he was the only person raiding the food trolley though, he was in for a surprise. Once again, Bradley seemed to be setting a bad example for the rest of the crew. Maybe Jody was right about him all along. <laughs> oh, took it in the pocket. You're gonna have to put some money in the honesty box because the guards have disappeared. Number one, Bradders Bangers. In 2016, Walsh was awarded a gold disc for his debut album, Chasing Dreams, and he often releases videos of himself singing along to hits like La Freak and Bohemian Rhapsody. But after the screening of The Woman Who Fell to Earth in October 2018, he shared with his Instagram fans a performance with a difference. The Doctor Who cast may just be miming, but have you ever witnessed a more passionate version of Hart's classic song, Alone? James Corden's Carpool Karaoke has nothing on this. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.